across the UK. On average, there have been 26,632 new cases per day in the UK in the past week. More than 76,000 people received a first dose of the vaccine in the latest 24-hour period. Almost 45.5 million people have now had their first jab. That's 86.2% of UK adults. World football, and it didn't disappoint, going to extra time and then penalties now than they were in the World Cup semi-final in 2018. A nation nervously awaits. Natalie, many thanks. That's it from us. Have a good night. Bye-bye. And later, late team, good night. Hello, good evening. It's been a day of blustery showers, but also some sunny spells, and there are sunny spells now. The national forecast. Hello there, we've had some record temperatures in Lapland and hopefully Santa is having a staycation. Here at... Are you ready for the twist? A double bill of Bates Hotel in 45 minutes. Now later than build, Crouchy, Maya, Alex and a horn section are bringing fun and games. I'm hearing corrupt ephemera passing through. There may be adult humour and some strong language. Now then, she's got the biggest dressing room, but it's show nine now, so no point complaining. It's my Jammer! Here she goes! <laughs> All right there. Now I think about this guy every minute of every day. <laughs> We have, we your have. sweepstake team, so you can be well happy for that. Yes. They've booked their place at Wembley for Sunday. It's confirmed. Yes, so tomorrow we play Denmark in a semi-final. The second semi-final of a major tournament this team has played in. Back to back, by the way. Uh, I just wanted to start the show by saying how proud I am of the England team. Uh, I played for England for six years. We dreamed of progressing in major tournaments, of uniting the nation of bringing football home, but uh, it never quite happened for us. Uh, for whatever reason, we just never managed to do it. Backing you here, we're backing you till the end. And we're doing all of that. Mm. Yeah! Yeah! Good luck, England! Wow. Ooh. How are the audience getting on outside? Make some noise. Uh, ready to go. All right, let's get tonight's guests out. It's former England star Glenn Johnson, match of the day's Gabby Logan, and the boys from People Just Do Nothing. It's Corrupt FM. No. <laughs> right, Glenn, so Italy in the final with England. I've known you for a very long time. Yep. I know you're a busy man. Mm -hmm, very Lots busy. of things to do, yep. people to see. Yep. But have you had any time to watch any of the tournament? I have been watching it. I've actually got a mate who works as one of the cameramen, you know, in the Euros, yeah? Right. And you know the cameraman who zooms into all the fit girls? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I texted him, I said, listen, I've just seen a fit mum, uh, <laughs> roll 23, and then he zooms in her really slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. By the way, his job okay. is looking for, you know, talent, and, but the talent is basically big boobies. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was telling people to zoom in on the girls. There is a guy there is at every game. Yeah, that's my mate. That's yeah, my mate. Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Bobby. Yeah, he's, you know, he's from uh, Hounslow. Of course, of course he knows the perms. Uh, Gabby, uh, we've been watching you guys on Match of the Day, following the Home Nations. Looks like you're having a lot of fun doing that. Yeah, it's been very good, very enjoyable. It's the first time I've done this role. Normally I'm inside the England camp doing all that stuff and get home quite early normally after a couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> You've got quite an endurance if you want to do a whole tournament, haven't you, as I've yeah. discovered yeah. now? So, yeah, it's been brilliant. Has it been slightly different with it being at home this year? Have you, found... you, you mean not travelling around? Yeah. Gra... Yeah, I mean, being in the ground is the best experience right. because you feel everything, you see everything, mm. you know, you see stuff that's happening off the ball, you see things that are happening on the bench. So, yeah, we've been doing all the shows from Salford, um, mm. which is great, but it's not quite the same as being yeah. there. Yeah, well, you I... do get the vibe, don't you? But you don't get the door. air miles at uh, 
Maya, so yeah, no, no jet lag. lag. No, well, I mean, it's Europe. It can't be that bad on the jet lag stage, but it's still different environments. We can hear everything literally from Wembley. Mm -hmm. And when the game's finished, people come past shouting like, Crouchy! All of that stuff. Do you know what is quite funny? You know, like the minute the game finishes, you hear the sirens. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> well, that we are in Wembley. It's Wembley, <laughs> mate. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's just being home, you know? Love it. <laughs> yeah, really great. Uh, but let's talk about the Italy space. Great match, uh, great match. Oh. Then... Look at one of the goals. This is Chiesa's goal, right here. The ball <laughs> that, yeah. that was a good one. Um, <laughs> but that, yeah. that the enemy. So this was good to watch oh. just before the penalties. Uh, Chiellini and Jordi Alba literally arguing the toss. Have a look at this. Mm. Of course, isn't he, Jordi Alba? <laughs> <laughs> he's, a Spanish, he's a Spanish Jordi, isn't he? Oh my God. <laughs> no, it's, yeah. Why I? It's not. But why am I? Yeah. What do you think was going on, Gabby? I think uh, he, was, he was kind of a bit of gamesmanship there. <laughs> look at the play. That's why the play was Glenn oh, Johnson. Right. <laughs> right, well, let's have a talk of the pens. Let's have a look at uh, Jorginho's winning pen. Your really? take on this, Grinder, because you seem to know loads about football. Yeah, I love it. I yeah. really love it. I just thought it was so cool the way he got that in. Yeah. And uh, I love the argument before that that you showed. So, yeah, how yeah. about you, Have you, would you, would you? Would you take a pen like that in a pressure moment? Yeah, I'd, I'd just I'd knock it straight down the centre. But, yeah. but what I would do is go like that first, so they'd go right, and then it would just go in. Little trick yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about you? Yeah, just I'd probably ask Grinder what's the best technique on this. Yeah, because um, he knows everything. Yeah, <laughs> just because he was once you. you Said you were going well, to be a semi-pro. Well, for the ankle injury. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh the injury. Yeah. 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 For Junior story. Bees, was it? Yeah. What was that? <laughs> junior Bees. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe you said Junior Bees. I used to play against them. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Good yeah. Well, I, but you probably would have seen me on the pitch. Yeah. 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 No way. West London Massive. Yeah, yeah exactly. Love yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Gabby, your dad, Terry, was a footballer. Played for yes. Wales. Yes. Yeah. I'd do that. Yeah. 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 Stick it on yeah. him. And he says he's, exactly. a, he's a manager of the Bank of England. No, he didn't say that. Still not good. Now, we'd all like to be England manager during these tournaments, arguing about the manager's choices, but uh, there's definitely a huge growing trust. No, there's not, there's not, Time there's take. nobody wandering around with a tennis racket on the road anymore. <laughs> I never imagined you to be a loner, but that seems to be the vibe. Yeah, it appears so. Yeah, appears so. <laughs> Bless him. Um, Jabari G, as an entrepreneur manager yourself, what are your views on Southgate? Do you reckon he's doing a good job? Southgate, you know what I mean? You don't know how he thinks he was a bit of a blonker, isn't he? Wow. You know I mean? but we forgave him. I think his tactics are spot on, but he's missing a trick here. What I would do, yeah, if I was England manager, I know a few people in the home office, yeah? Don't, right. tell, don't tell Pretty Patel in that. But basically, <laughs> I know how to change nationalities, right? So on one of my passports, I'm technically Brazilian. Wow. So what I would do, <laughs> I'd go straight to Ronaldo, straight to Messi, make them British, mate. It's coming home! <laughs> It's definitely coming home then. Oh my God! <laughs> See, can you De confirm who's the better manager, Gareth Southgate or Javadi G? Gareth Southgate. Oh, right. Gavin. Immediately. No. Oh, Gavin, me? No, because Grinder was meant to be up there. Oh yeah. No, so yeah, you yeah, took yeah. the limelight from yeah, your yeah. client. Yeah, yeah. That's not very. I'm good. like P Diddy. You know what I mean? Pop yeah. Daddy. Yeah. Trying to be in the music video. That's you know fair I mean? enough. But I mean, you've yeah. got your special shirt on and everything, yeah, 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 making yeah. the most of it. Yeah. Um, B, yeah. I know you're a big fan of footballers' haircuts. You've tried many looks in your time. Big time, yeah, What yeah. would you say is the top footballer trim? <laughs> Probably Beckham's mohawk right. for me yeah. was, was pretty good. That was a big mohawk. All the cane rows, to be fair. Them cane the cane rows, rows were good lot. as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember when you were going to have cane rows for a bit? Yeah, I actually, yeah. I actually had a uh, braided hair down to here with different colour rubber bands and that. Yeah. That's more in the sort of cool. Snoop Dogg days. Yeah. 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 How long, how long did it take Mish? Huh? Mish was doing that for a while, wasn't she? For a while, she? yeah. Like yeah. four hours or so, yeah, Mish yeah. was... Cane rolls are good, but they give you headaches. Yeah. <laughs> Tried yeah. about half an hour. Yeah. They are tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, do you guys think England can take it home? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a bit of a yeah. delay there. Well, no. Well, oh, they love it out there. Yeah, oh, they love they it. They love it out there. 100%. I just, I want to know what take it home means, though. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. It means bringing home the title. No, it means win. No, I know that. But where does where, bring home the title? Okay, bring it home. And so, yeah. Uh, where is it now? Um. <laughs> 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 where is it? That's a great That's a, great, that's a huge point. No one's thought that. Is, the, is that like whoever's won it yeah. last? That's yeah. a sort do, of boxing Do you keep champion. it or do you. What happens? 
Well, well, it's quite it's deep. deep. That's like a philosophy question, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big question. Weird, is it? Is it I mean, right? it's, it, no, but it you've got to think, if, if you're going around screaming, let's bring it home, you've got to think about what that is. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 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 Who's home does it come to? The logistics. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? No, wow. the, the big question here is, where, where is it now? Where is it now? Yeah. 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 Good point. Emailing, where yeah. is it now? Texting. Hashtag, have you found it? It now. Bring it home, please, to us. Yeah, that would be nice. Right, well, Glenn, you played in big occasions like this yourself. Here's you playing against Uruguay back in 24. It was good game for Glenn. Uh, remember when we were at Portsmouth and we played against AC Milan? Oh, my God. And right. you were three hours late for the biggest game we've ever had. How do you I was three hours late? late? I was pretty, yeah, I was pretty late. Is well, that missing kickoff? <laughs> someone, no, yeah. he didn't miss kickoff, no, to no, be no, fair. No, he turned up like five uh, minutes before <laughs> kickoff and, like, Maldini, um, Nesta, yeah. uh, Ronaldinho, they were, all, stuck, they were all fully I'm warmed up. stuck on the A3. He was on the A3. <laughs> the A3. The A3 was shut. It it's in. the biggest game of the season. Um, and I was phoning T uh, Tony Adams as a manager. I was like, look, I'm not going to make this. You're going to have to, like, you know, get me out of the team, whatever. He's like, no, I'll just wait another 20 minutes. So he said that three or four times. And I got to the, I got to the stadium yeah. with the little, you know, your little pol uh, trolley or whatever. So I'm walking in with my tracksuit as the lads are walking off the pitch from the warm-up. And I'm still, with, I'm still dressed. I get in there. Everyone's trying to get me ready, and I'm putting me pads on, putting my boots on, and I'm looking up. There's like Maldini, as <laughs> Ronaldinho, there's everyone. I'm thinking, bad. oh god. And then I just thought, you know what? How bad can it be? So I just went out there and. I have to say, I'm not just saying it because he was here, right? He's a right back, but he played like in the hole, but like behind me for some reason. And uh, was man of the match, set up two goals. We were two new up at half time, and they had to bring Ronaldinho off the bench to score a free kick. Yeah, right? and he, it was probably the best game I saw him play. Smashed it. Absolutely. Yeah, amazing. That's that late yeah. pressure, though. I was late every week after that. <laughs> <laughs> Better under pressure, though, clearly. Some people describe like that. Special night at Fratton Park, though. Uh, it's, it's we're at Fratton Park. It was uh, amazing. Why well, were you late? Good times. <laughs> we had to clear through. Hopefully, uh, there'll be meeting. England in the final, but we've never had a better chance of lifting that trophy. Like, like, like Kevin was saying, Beats was saying, you know, where is it? Is it coming home? Um, I think we got a good chance, you know what I mean? Ooh. I just, I feel it in my heart, you know what I mean? I feel England. <laughs> when I say England, I, I feel, England. I feel yeah. it's coming home. I think it's coming. It's coming home. Yeah. Yeah. Coming home. Coming home. But the, uh, the Italians looked wily last week. Uh... I issued a statement, and this is about the exact moment and I quote, the joy and excitement of a goal is so great in matches such as these that it means you don't experience <laughs> any more pain after that. So basically it's a painkiller, yeah. is what you're going to say. Just even real. watching a goal, you don't even have to score it, you, you just have just... to watch it. Yeah. So when again. women are in like labour, they should just show goals. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what a problem <laughs> <so bad. laughs> Right, PR here, gate crashed the official England press conference yesterday to ask England star Harry Maguire a couple of questions. Yeah, I have to say it was really quite serious he was fending off some tough questions uh, about the England squad and then I asked him about celebration <laughs> I bet you did <laughs> it's what happened yeah. very yeah. awesome yeah. right let's Love talk it. to the guys out on Thank Wembley you. Way it's yeah. time for Pop Up Opinion yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay right, who have you got up first Pop Up <laughs> <laughs> hello <laughs> my Pop Up Opinion is oh. Yeah, it's a good, good question. I think I, I love a nickname. We had some good nicknames in our day. That's the famous Glenn Johnson. You know. Why are you called the famous? No, I used to have girls <laughs> call me Bombay Bex. Bombay yeah. Bex. <laughs> <laughs> Bombay <Yeah>. Bex. <laughs> Lying. That is joke. All right, okay, we'll leave that there then. Who's up next? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jordan and I'm from Brighton. My pop up opinion. Can we get those names? Yeah, Gabby, Gabby. Who's Saka or Saka? I can't decide. Yeah, I'll <laughs> I'm going to pass this one to Grinder because he knows his football. <laughs> Grindr, Who are you playing? Who are you playing, Tony? He's actually gone. Oh. So you can't pass it to <laughs> oh, Grinder. That's then. how much Beeps. you know. I think he's gone for a oh, week. Oh, Stevie then, Stevie. Steve's? Huh? Who do you think <laughs> should play? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you reckon should start? Out of those names just listed, we had a Foden, Sancho. Sterling. Yeah. No. Do, I, do I have to decide who's going to start? No, 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 Stevie. That's good opinion, Stevie. Stevie. Sorry, I he's mean, a little bit. He's Stevie, a little bit spaced Stevie, out. Stevie. <laughs> it's, Stevie. It's not a response. It's just an opinion. Don't worry. Oh, just opinion. Yeah, yeah. sorry. He's... Oh, just. Um, any of them do like a, a lucky dip out of a house, I think. OK, yeah. all right. Make it, easy, make it fair. OK, that's He hasn't right. slept for three days, sorry. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> Sorry. Seven-day bender over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, who's up next? Hello, what's your opinion? <laughs> oh, there oh. he is. <laughs> what do we think? Why do goalkeepers wear different kits? Yeah, Very that's, important question. It's a valid point. 
So you, you, uh... So, I think they're a different breed, aren't they? Oh, they're like different. Keepers. So I think they deserve extra. Like, I always like David Seaman. One Love of my favourites. David Seaman was great. You know, he had the girthy kind of dash, the ponytail. You had a I love this ponytail. Guy. Yeah, I used to have a dash yeah. ponytail. So yeah. I like, you look like a porno star, like a cool one. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> not, not deep, not CD one. <laughs> not dark. A sensible porno star. Friendly, friendly. Don't, don't yeah. dark. Yeah, and his name was Seaman, so... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, who's up next? Next one, Bob Opinion, please. Face, face. What, now, yeah? yeah. What? No, you're all right, then. <laughs> no, mate. You're good. Don't even, don't even answer that question. I mean, don't even answer it. It's done enough. The face at the end. <laughs> Perfect. OK, <laughs> thank you for your pop-up opinion. <laughs> uh, Alex, you finally decided to support England, I see. Yes, yes, I do. I, I've got a twin sister, obviously, from Italy, called Alessandra, but she is out of <laughs> here. For me, it's all about three things now. It's about Southgate, this trophy, and, of course, the Euro quiz! Yeah. Wait, question for you. No. What did Zinedine Zidane do before scoring his penalty against England in 2004? <laughs> did he wink, vomit or scream, decoy? Decoy. <laughs> He's doing like a quiz thing. Just say any of them. He's basically he's asking uh, people. Chibani G, what yeah. did Zinedine <laughs> or scream? Uh, was it Vank and what? Wink, vomit or scream? <laughs> not, not Vink. that one. Vink? Yeah. <laughs> We're going for Vink. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. That's well, okay. standard. And that well, is the final question. So all the points well, and the standard. Chinese spice bites goes to Gabby Logan. Yeah. It's the end of the Euro for And it is you, Thank you. Thank you for that, Alex. All right, let's see how our audience are getting on outside. Make some noise if you fancy winning some money. Oh. Let's play Win Big on Wembley Way. <laughs> so, in honour of England not letting a single goal in this tournament so far... <laughs> very impressive. This game is called Keeping a Clean Sheet. So we stuck some £20 notes onto sheets hanging there in the goal and we've dipped some balls in paint. All the guys on Wembley Way have to do is stop the ball from getting paint onto the sheet. Very simple. Here's how uh, Alex went on earlier. My Wembley Way, hello. What's your name and where are you from? Hi. Hey. a little bit nervous there, Gil, for Gil for third. All right, what are you going to spend the £20 on? And they didn't even pay him to say that. Can you imagine? All right, Good in job. three, two, one. Guaranteed. All right, who else have we got? Hello, what's your name and where are you from? Hello. I'm... All right, Sinead, what are you going to spend that massive £20 on? A lot of... <laughs> a love a nugget. OK, in three, two, one. This, this all right, Euros. well, that's the last one. This Thank you all for Euros, playing. Win it? big on Wembley no. Way. <laughs> Right, it's, uh, it's a massive night for England tomorrow as they take on Denmark in the semi-finals of the Euros. Oh. Now, my first memory of England at Euros was 1988, but since then, it's been one hell of a roller coaster ride. Emotional. How does it feel to be a part of that history? Mm, really? Mm, part of that history, really. <laughs> I mean, you can talk about it after now and laugh at yeah. England are doing better. <laughs> right, tomorrow England face Denmark in the semi finals, so the truck has gone full English. Let's see who's inside. <laughs> it's corrupt defence, Steve uh, and Decoy. Yes, sir. Yes. Hello, how boys. Are we, how are right, we? Deco, put, this, put, put it right, out. Steve, put it out. best behaviour, mate. Best behaviour, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. What have we got in there? Um, uh, just to, uh, don't tell these are really okay. It's, yeah. all it's all edible, so it's fine. I wouldn't trust them to be honest. So, haven't you? Uh, yeah, I've facts. facts. I've got just these facts. Yeah, I don't know who does that, but um, also basically, this is the first and um, and most caps to watch one to watch. Um, caps and 17 goals for this country. You can't, you can't argue with those facts unless they're wrong. In yeah, right. Gabby, Glenn. Uh, Raheem, very raw at the time, but he's... Three goals in the Euros they as well. Yeah, three goals, yeah. all of that. So, yeah. Steve, Cheers. this is so, so insightful, but you've actually got a massive film coming out. People just do nothing yeah. in Japan. We've got a clip of that here. Let's have a look. <laughs> 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 that was mad. I'm, I'm excited <laughs> to see that. And do you know what? You've been super busy because you've got a song with Craig David as well called uh, Summertime, right? right. Summertime. Yeah, well, fun fact. Vula yeah. actually loves doing a bit of Craig David, so I do you mean... want to take it away? <laughs> God bless the kid. Sit up, put the window, put any one that's not skip. Granted, give me the flute and I'll spark it. Outdoor barbecue party. Two, two, bruise and we're dancing. Mixed with the right. Day. Love that. That's all that music and that. That was sick. Yeah.
This is it. Oh, they still... <laughs> lovely, lovely. Right, that's nearly all we've got time for, but I reckon we should have a game of come and have a go if you think you can kick hard enough. Kick hard enough. Yeah. That's mostly a joke, yeah. <laughs> So, the game is simple. We set up a special camera that records how hard you can kick a ball, and all you have to do is kick the ball harder than the player before to stay in the competition. Simple. The player at the end who has kicked the I'll ball the hardest first. wins. PR is the what? This is the game that you ripped your groin on. I so did. I did. Careful, guys. You mashed a man in the left eye. Oh, you Wow. So right, I've got, 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 got like a kebab stick, mate. Right, who's up, who's up now? <laughs> All right. Where's the Giovanni Gigal on the podium. What's doing, mate? You're on the podium. You're on the podium. 56, get yourself up there. Yeah, Steve's, you're up first. Yeah, you're on the podium. Yeah, you're up there. 56 so far. A bit higher. Steve's a bit higher. Yeah. Bondi G! Bondi G! Gabby Logan. Gabby, be safe. Famous Glenn Johnson. The famous Glenn Johnson. Get yourself on the top of the podium. Get on the podium. Get yourself on the top of the podium. Giovanni G, you're on. Come on, Alex. Oh, no. Famous, the fight. Of course he did. After a riveting competition, that means it's the end of the show. And also... That means Glenn won. Congratulations, Glenn, and thank you to all of, of our guests won. tonight. Of course you done. We'll be back tomorrow after the England-Denmark semi-final with Alex Scott, Jack Whitehall. Come on, England! Come on, England! Go to our socials for more content. It's Alex and the Horn section. Their song's out August. Good luck, Later. England. Bring it home. See you tomorrow. Good night!